Hello and welcome to Healing Thursday with a very agitated little Vinny hassling me for some reason again as soon as I start talking. So please only listen when you can safely close your eyes, rise your eyes. And also, you know, only listen to this if you have found out the call you know if you're listening to this because of a medical issue make sure you get professional help for the medical issue this is not a replacement for that um that's it really did i say my name jason newland my website's jasonnewland.com so you'll be able to download this recording as well as downloading thousands of recordings on my website And you can also listen, watch the videos and all that stuff. Uh, I will be making a video of this, which will be available uh, later on, which will also, it will be a 10 hour version of this. So it will be the recording and then it will be like nine hours of uh, affirmations, body scans, counting down, you know, stuff stuff like that. What else? Uh, oh yeah, it's also a dark screen. So it's got a picture for 10 seconds and then it goes to dark screen, which means you can watch the video in bed without being disturbed by the screen. And yeah. I actually have my YouTube, when I've got my YouTube open, I have it so that it won't disturb, so no no phone calls, nothing will come through it when I've got YouTube up, the YouTube app up, because that way I can listen to it at night if I want to, uh, otherwise, you know, because not that I generally get phone calls, but as occasionally I will, and I might be in bed. Have a night. <laughs> so, also I got face Facebook group, which is Jason Newland's boring group, which you can uh, join for free. It's a private group that you can just join if you like, and it's a good place to yeah, reach out to say hi to leave a message to, I guess, to be part of this thing that we're doing here. Uh, So, tomorrow is, yet again, Q&A Friday. Uh, So if you've got any questions for Q&A Friday, please go to my Facebook group, Jason Newland's Boring Group. And I've already got five questions to answer, but I'm happy to have more than that. Yeah. So I thought maybe what we'll do to start with, I'll take my glasses off. Then he's now calmed down a little bit, thankfully. Thankfully. Maybe do a body scan just to start off. So, I'll still be chatting, by the way. Don't worry, I'm not going to just be all serious. But I thought it might be nice on a Thursday to start off with a body scan. Just a quick one. Just a, a chance to get in touch with how you physically feel right now. So, I always like to start at my head, top of my head. I can't really go much higher than that, really. I could start the ceiling, but I can't really feel the ceiling. Apart from when I stand up, because I'm so tall. I'm eight foot three, did you know that? So, just noticing how the top of your head feels. Now, you're not trying to not trying to cause yourself to relax 
or trying to create any kind of feeling. And of course, you know, you'd like perhaps to for your body to naturally become calmer and more relaxed. And I'm sure you'd like, like I would, it's always nice to have my mind, not always, sometimes I like to have my mind busy, but it's, you know, when it's time maybe to wind down a bit, slow down, and for the mind to slow down, so the thinking, there's less thinking going on, less activity. So you can focus on your forehead. What I like to do is raise my eyebrows. And of course that also stretches the eyes, but it does stretch the forehead. And then I do a frown. Like pushing my eyebrows, eyebrows, eyebrows down. So up and down. Like two two little se sexy caterpillars dancing with each other. Which is a weird idea. Because what I notice, maybe you're the same, maybe you're different, maybe not, maybe yes. Certain places that I have a tendency to notice the stress within me. Um, my forehead's one. My eyes are another. Sometimes in my temples a little bit. But I think that might be more to do with my ears as well. Because my ears are so big that they, uh, I think gravity just puts a bit of pressure on them, you know, they just want to lay on the ground really. Another place is perhaps my jaw, that, it took me years, this is something I've never really discussed, when I was in my 20s, let's say my late twenties, I started to learn how to relax. It was a new thing for me. I tried to meditate and I liked it. I had a home, like a home course meditation thing, a, a tape, tape cassette course of meditation. But I still noticed that the one thing that I had was my jaw would be, you know, very stiff and my stomach would be tight. Uh, this is a time when I was very, very slim. I mean, I still get a tight stomach sometimes, but it's harder now, to be honest. It's, um, I mean, if you think of, let's say, stress was, it's probably not a good analogy, but stress was a, a tight, like one leg of some tights. I was going to say condom, but let's say, let one leg of some tights and you try and put a melon down there, or a coconut. The coconut would be my belly, or the melon, melon would be my belly. And the, the little thing to try and get it into would be, that would be the stress. So it's quite hard for stress to take control of my belly. That made sense before I said it. So I don't feel it as much in my stomach as I used to. Um, but I purposely 
started to relax my stomach area, my, my abdominal area. It's just weird. We say stomach, but I never usually think of, because the stomach's sort of above the belly button. When I think of below the belly button, I still think of my stomach, which it isn't, is it? That's the bowels. That's the, so I like to order, I suppose belly would be the whole thing. But I like to, I learnt rather to let that go, to relax that area. And that was one of the biggest challenges I had at that time because it might not sound like it if, you, if you're a regular listener to me. I'm not sure if I come across as being uptight because I, I don't think I am really these days. But I was quite tightly wound in the you know the nineties, the early, the late nineties, or the whole of the nineties, probably at times. So my stomach was solid because not it's just it was it was almost like I was clenching it the whole time, and. So I learnt to just, I guess it was about noticing when I was clenching my stomach or when I was like holding my jaw, almost not grinding it, but holding it together in a very tense way. And I started to, when I noticed, I'd relax. I just let the mouth, just let the jaw, just move it around a little bit, you know. I don't mean different rooms. We're just like within it, you know, still attached. Just move it around and stomach. Sometimes I had to tense it even more and hold it maybe 10 seconds and then just let it go but very slowly if I could so if let's say if I was walking down the street and I noticed that I was really tense in my stomach I would I just focus on it and just focus on it relaxing while I was walking Or just let it go. Maybe take a deep breath and just. <sighs> but if I was at home, I'd, you know, I would tense it for 10 seconds and then very slowly let it out. Let it relax. So like hold on to it and then maybe let it go over 20 seconds so like hold it like one two three four five six seven eight nine ten and then gradually let it go 20 19 18 17 16 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, Six, five, four, three, two. 
who won. Pliny still works. So I did that whilst holding my hand on it. I mean, I've lost a bit of weight so I can actually reach before if I needed to scratch. If I was, let's say if I was laying down and I needed to scratch my belly button, I'd normally need, need some kind of uh, garden instrument like a garden rake or something to reach with a handle. But now I can pretty much reach it. But it, was, it feels quite nice that counting down. But you don't even really need to tense it to start with. You could just decide just to hold your stomach or your belly, whichever part, above your belly button, below your belly button. It can be on the side of your stomach, be on your chest, it doesn't really matter. And just count down from 20 down to one. You do it, so, so I'm gonna do it. So I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna tense it. Okay, right. So twenty, nineteen. Just focusing on the area. Eighteen, seventeen. 16, 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five. Four, three, two, one. I'm quite enjoying this. This is nice. It almost feels like my hand is sort of sending healing energy into my stomach and into my whole abdominal region. So I've had stomach problems in the past. I've actually got um, like a herniated belly button. Why am I telling you this? I don't know. But it's just basically because I'm so fat. So my, 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 basically my belly became too big for my body. And started, started to, the plug nearly came out because that's the belly button's kind of the plug, isn't it? If it was a, if it was a bath, the plug, that would be the plug, the belly button. So, but it's got a string on the inside. So that, that, that makes sense to me when I said it. So then, as I kind of the bath stretched, the plug got a little bit distorted. The belly button. So, although I look at my well. I say I look at my belly button, I can just about, with about six mirrors strategically angled, I can see my belly button. And 
The best way to see it really is if I go into a lift with all mirrors, mirrors on the ceiling, on all, all the walls as well. So that's a good way to actually get to look at my belly button. The other passengers, not always happy. I say passengers, not, is it is that a passenger? The other people in the lift. Yeah, maybe. So, you, so that whole area, you know, the abdominals, the, basically from the chest down to, I guess, to the pelvis, the pelvic bones, that area and across from the side, from one side to the other side, with all the abdominal, um, all that stuff that's in there. By relaxing that area, you can get comfort. And when you start to feel more relaxed and any tension that was there before has reduced, then that can lead to, I know sometimes it, it feels that maybe we get a little bit, mm, I don't know, unbalanced sometimes. I'm not talking about my brain, I'm talking about sort of the body, sometimes it gets a little bit unbalanced and it just needs to balance up. Maybe there's too much stress there, too much worrying. And then when that is offloaded, when that is removed, now it changes, something changes. And you start to feel different, you start to feel like something different is going to happen. So yeah, kind of a unusual, because that is definitely a place where I've held tension over the years. And I still do sometimes. But when I focus on that area, things start to, you know, it's almost like if you focus on something, but your body knows to relax it, so if you regularly focus on your abdominal area in order to relax that part of your body and to calm that part of your body down, almost like you're inviting healing energy to enter that part of your body. So when you do just randomly focus on that part of your body, your mind remembers that that's what you do. So it therefore starts to relax that part again, relaxing your lower abdominals, your stomach area, you know, the whole belly part starts to calm down and again you open that door for healing and healing can mean different things to different people some people could class healing as letting go 
sometimes in order to let go. I mean, I, I mentioned before, I've read so many books. I've also been very deeply into Buddhism at times. And it's, this is a kind of a universal, this is one of the things that like everybody kind of says. Not everybody, but it they alludes to it. So you could say, yeah, it's pretty much a factual thing. You could, you could argue. In order to heal, what a way for us to heal is to let go. And it's not just letting go of something that happened this morning. It's not just letting go of an argument you had maybe earlier in the month. Although it's only the 3rd of October, so it would literally be within the last couple of days. Depending on when, when you're listening, of course. You might be listening in August 2029. Tell me if you are, just out of fun. If you're listening to this in August 2029, send me a message. So just see where I am then. It'd be interesting. It's currently 2024, October. So letting go is more about forgiveness. Forgiving, our, forgiving ourselves and forgiving other people. But really just letting it go. Not holding on to anything anymore. Anything that anybody's ever done to you. Anything that any, anyone's ever said about you. And it's not letting go for them, it's letting go for you. You're the one that benefits from it. That's the thing to get around. And I know some people, some people would rather hang on to that stuff, hold on to it, than heal. Some people would, and that is their choice. But when we all, when we all realize that actually in order to move forward. And when you think about it though, as far as like in our brain and emotionally, there's, there's a reason, there's a reason why we have, I don't know what you wanna call it, the dustbin collectors come round, the refuge collectors, there's a reason why we put rubbish into bags or into bins and put them outside and have them taken away instead of leaving them in our home, leaving the rubbish in our home. There's a reason why we have, people have waste disposals. There's a reason why we have a toilet that we flush stuff away instead of a bucket that we just or just doing it on the floor. Now it might sound a bit grim, okay, but ultimately that's what we're doing to ourselves emotionally. By holding on to stuff, we're basically pooing on our own kitchen floor. We're leaving food to rot. Literally for years. Can you imagine that? I mean, I'm... I'm I'm over 30 now and do you imagine a piece of chicken that was in my fridge in 1986 or 1987 what would it smell like now and subsequent 30 five years of food 
that I've eaten or food that I haven't eaten. Or you could just like be more basic, get all the rubbish and never have it, put it outside, just left it in here. And just, you know, the floor would be covered in poo, grim, because that's waste and we get rid of waste, don't we? But so that's a practical thing because that's a, it's something you can see and you can smell and you can, you know, it's, it's difficult to ignore it. Plus other people will remind you. You know, what, what do you mean you don't want to go out with me anymore? Not to clean up all that poo. There's 60 years worth of poo on that carpet. So yeah, that that could be a problem emotionally. You know, for romantics, romantics, romantically, that's what I was trying to say. But emotionally, that's kind of what maybe some of us are doing. Holding on to stuff. Which would explain why we get so clogged. Why we get so restricted. Sometimes maybe why we get ill. I'm not saying that's the cause. I'm just saying that it doesn't help, does it? Let's face it. And you know, even if... And I would, here's what I would say. If someone's not well... Don't take on any new stresses. Don't take any on any new angers. You know, from now on, let everything go. Don't hold on to it because that energy is needed for your healing. And some people might say, well, okay, I've got this issue, this physical issue. But what's that got to do with my neighbour getting, me getting that angry at my neighbour for loud music or for parking on top of the tree or whatever? How would they park on top of a tree? I really got to stop watching so many movies. But, and you might say, well, what's that got to do with it? It's not the cause, not the cause of my condition, so I, which is true, it's not. However, if, you know, if you've got an ingrown toenail, right, and you're rubbing it with sandpaper. Now, anyone who's ever had an ingrown toenail knows that that would be indescribably painful. Or if you had a broken, a broken arm and you was hitting it with a piece of wood. And so I said, don't do that. What are you doing that for? You've got to stop doing that. And if you if your argument was in your defense, well, that's not what caused the break. I fell out of my car, it was, on, it was, it was balancing on top of a tree. That's how I broke my arm. Yeah, but you're hitting it with a piece of wood. Yeah, but that's not what caused it. Yeah, it's not what caused the break. But I ain't going to heal if you keep doing that, is it? Oh. Now, I know that's an absurd example. Because they're the ones I like. Because I've never seen someone with a broken arm hitting themselves with a piece of wood. I mean, I don't think I've ever seen anyone hitting themselves with a piece of wood, generally. But... It's the equivalent of that if we're going to start getting angry about stuff that's not important. Starting getting and holding that bitterness and that anger and that rage and hatred or whatever might be there. And the anger we get about something just shows you how much anger is already in there. Because it just adds to the anger that's already there. 
So don't allow anything new to occur. Don't add anything new to it. Let it go. That's my advice if you've got some stuff going on. Let it go. And I do feel the need to sing the song. Let it go, let it go. But I won't. I do want it though. The cold don't bother me anyway. Is it let 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 it go or let me go? Let it go. So really, in my own little way, I sometimes feel that just by breathing, because breathing's you know a fairly important thing that we do. I'm not sure how relevant it is, but I think it's quite relevant. So when we breathe in, there's an old kind of, kind of a meditative thing. And I used to do this, blimey, decades ago, where I breathe in healing and I would breathe out whatever was ailing me, whether it was stress, whether it was physical pain, whatever it was, I breathed that out. And remember, you know, the word disease is just, it's two parts of that, isn't it? Dis, ease. So it's the opposite to feeling ease. That's kind of where the word comes from. Probably Greek or something, I don't know. I'm not sure where a lot of those medical terms come from. So by choosing to not allowing anything else to build up and by focusing on healing whatever area you might be focusing on if this is a part that you feel you need to heal it might be as simple as you're just wanting a part of your body to feel better It might just it might be a sprained ankle. It might be. It could be anything. But by focusing on that part of yourself, that area, with a positive way of thinking, with an attitude of healing. And you know what? Regardless of any kind of esoteric, spiritual, religious, anything like that. Healing of, it comes from us, doesn't it? It comes from within yourself. And healing is something that actually does happen. And you do already heal yourself. We all do. Your body heals It's just, it's natural, it's what happens. You know, you get cut. I'm talking about a small cut or whatever. And, you know, if you could just sit there and watch it for a few days, you'd see it heal in front of your eyes. It'd be really boring. But I'm just saying it would, you know, it, it happens. Our bodies heal. Also, I quite like the idea that our bodies are continuously changing, almost regenerating. So the parts, those parts in our body that are alien, try to get out. Not like the alien movie, but you know, if you, when someone gets a bit of glass or something in their skin or even people that have been shot now they're going in a weird direction but the body wants to reject it it knows that that shouldn't be there and 
weirdly, even if it can't be removed, the body pushes it out or tries to push it out. And I've seen that happen with someone that was had been in a car accident and their body was pushing the glass out of their skin. Like two years later, still pushing. Like the body is all about healing. And if anything, I think that potentially sometimes we get in the way of that. We get in our own way. We're like constantly tripping ourselves over. For what reason? For what purpose? What benefit? I mean, if you was watching your kid on sports day, or maybe he's you know playing a sport, playing a football match, or you know some kind of team sport, you wouldn't trying to trip him up or trip her up when they were running. I mean, you might not like the kid, maybe you would, but generally you wouldn't, would you? <laughs> Let's hope not. Yet we do that to ourselves all the time. Sabotaging ourselves without even realising we're doing it. Because unfortunately, this uh, is quite a negative society that we live in. And being bombarded by negativity on the news, social media, like continuously. And of course, we're humans, so we get affected by it. Which is why I suppose it's quite important to try and... <sighs> Give yourself some time to feel positive. Give yourself some time to say nice things to yourself. And I know that it might sound absolutely absurd to do that. It really may sound ridiculous to start telling yourself that you deserve to heal. You know, telling yourself that you are going to heal. Telling yourself that if there's something inside you, may need needs to shrink. Maybe that's what ha needs to happen. And you're prepared for that to happen. You're happy for that to happen so that you can become well. Maybe there's a condition and... You need to tell yourself and you want to tell yourself that that issue needs to be contained and you are going to heal from it. You're going to overcome this and you're going to move into the future and have a great life. And one day maybe you'll be holding your great grandchild. Of course that doesn't really count to me because I haven't had a that I haven't had any kids. I'm now 93, so I might have left it a little bit late. I love it. I have to always bring it back to me. Do you notice that? Yep. Mr. Ego. How would that feel if you spent... 10 minutes a day, 20 minutes a day, sitting down and telling yourself nice things. And you might think, well, what? Oh, I don't know what to say. What shall I say to myself? It's quite easy, really. And you might think, oh, yeah, but JJ, Juicy JJ, or you spend all the day talking to yourself. You, you make podcasts, talking to yourself is your natural talent. Well, thank you very much. I'm also a great tap dancer. I'm not actually. I'm good at eating sausages, but that's a, that's a different story. So I could really do with a hot dog, like a proper sausage in a roll. I don't know why. 
ever since last Thursday, I started been thinking about sausages. I think it's Vinny. Someone start talking about sausages and Vinny loves sausages. But I don't really like the ones that from the chip van. You know. But I'm, I'm kind of a vegetarian as well. So, uh, oh well. How do you know what to say to yourself? Well, is there anyone in your life that you really care about? I mean, literally you would swap places with them if you could, if they were ill. You know, you'd take that on. You just love them, love them, completely love them. Well, imagine that person's you. Imagine you're talking to someone that you absolutely love and you do anything for that person. Which I would just add, maybe should be the case. Hmm. Something to think about. Maybe we should love ourselves and that person that we would do anything for. Perhaps that could be us. Hmm. That's a weird concept. Maybe. Don't know. It's a start. So if you was putting yourself in that position, what would you say to that person in your situation? What would you say to them? And I'm not talking about um, lying. But just being honest. Just like, what would you say? What is factual? It's factual that their body heals. It's factual that their body will continue to heal. It's factual to say that their body's been healing itself since they were born. It's factual that Vinny is now staring at me for some reason. I don't know why. He's just jumped off the chair, like, what do you want? What do you want, Vin? I don't know. No, come on, Vinny, leave me alone. I'm doing a recording. I'm doing a recording. This is pretty distracting for some people. Me suddenly talking to you. We were doing so well. Me and you, we've got to have a little chat one day, Vin. Oh, look away. <laughs> I'll try and keep these light, although I am serious about what I'm saying. Having some love, like that complete love, unconditional love towards yourself. And what would you say? What would you say to yourself? That's how you know. Now he's making weird squeaky noises. That's how you know what to say to yourself is what would you say to you in that situation? What would you tell yourself? It's not just what you would say, but how would you feel? What would your attention be? I'm not sure really what uh, this little boy wants. He was doing so well. He was barking at the beginning of the recording multiple times. In fact, I had to start re keep starting recording because of him. And now, then he was quiet for a while. Maybe for about half an hour. And now he's started again. He's not making a lot of noise, but he's just crawling all over me. And I guess he wants to go. Leave my glasses alone. They're my glasses. 
I saw him the other day. He he was um, on Facebook, right? So I'm in bed. I come in. He's on Facebook, making a live stream on Facebook. He's wearing my glasses and he's looking in the screen. He's saying, "Who am I? Who am I? I can't see anything. Who am I?" Like making fun of me. That's very rude. This it was. Being rude about your daddy. Hey. Eh? <laughs> so, um, healing. It brings me back to that place where we all can go, where internally, where there's nothing happening, just a feeling, a peace. And what you can do. Because at the moment. That place is probably. I would focus on my eyelids. Just above my eyelids. If I was to look up. With my eyes closed. Look up with my eyelids rather. And it's kind of there. It's around the area that I would probably. Get in touch with that feeling of calm. But I can also feel it in. Maybe my chest area. But what you could do if you wanted to, maybe we can do that now, is also choose another place, additional, an additional door where you could enter that area, that place of calm, that place of healing. That space of peace. So you can cho- you can choose where that door is. I'm going to choose just underneath my belly button. That area. But of course you can choose your shoulder, your knee, your back, wherever you want. As I now focus on that area, and you focus on your area, it allows you to go to that space because it's now connected by going in there, a place of peace, very calm, very still. And the whole structure is just made of healing. The whole area is just healing. That's that's just all it is. So when you focus on that area that maybe was a problem or an issue before you started to listen to me waffling on, now when you focus on that area it's a shortcut to that calm healing place or healing room if you want to call it that a place where nothing matters literally nothing in the whole world can affect you when you're in that room when you're in that space everything is put on hold and you can just relax not only do you let go you leave it out of the room so any problems any stresses any issues you leave it out the room because it can't go through it's almost like a I don't know some kind of energy force that won't allow negativity in and as soon as you get into that room into that space that old negativity that's been left behind 
just disintegrates, disappears. This is your place. This is your space. Your time. To embrace that healing. to really learn to believe in that healing because you can experience it, you can feel it, really, really feel it. And it's not some kind of wishy-washy, fictitious, science fiction stuff. Because healing actually occurs within our bodies every single day of our lives we are healing tiny little injuries that maybe we're not even aware of constantly healing now that short cut, that place, like another door, I mean you could put doors, those invisible doors into your every part of your body, so when you thought of your elbow, or you thought of your knee, your left knee, it takes you into that feeling, reminds you of that, of that healing, reminds you that you can heal, and you will heal. And you'll also hear Vinny going, because he wants my attention. He's sitting on my lap now, and he rarely does that. He wants, he wants your daddy's attention, doesn't you? Doesn't you, eh? So I'm gonna go because he's not leaving me alone. He's not leaving me alone. So I hope this was mildly useful. Excuse all the weird noises he's making. Remember to be kind to yourself because you do deserve to be happy. Lots of love. Bye. You're going to make a noise. You can say goodbye to everyone. Say goodbye to everyone. Are you? Say goodbye. <laughs> Don't flap your ears. Say goodbye. Make a weird noise. Say goodbye. Vinny, use your words. Come on, use your words. Use your words. Say something. Relax. In a more deep and meaningful way maybe in a way that can not just allow you to feel calmer now and throughout the time we spend together here not just relaxed at the end of the recording when it's finished and you can enjoy that sense of comfort and peace but also I think it would be nice to have those feelings of relaxation continue longer after the recording is ended so that you can still benefit from listening to my voice maybe in a few hours time perhaps tomorrow
some more. Eh? And then by listening regularly, especially if you find, like some people do, and myself as well, I sometimes I find one particular recording that really resonates with me. And I'll just listen to it over and over again, like every morning, every evening. There was this recording from, we're going back to about 1999. It, was a, it wasn't hypnosis, but it was a guided visualization. So it kind of was hypnosis, really. And I managed to find it again, and it still has the same effect on me. And part of it was the person's voice relaxed me. It just felt so peaceful, and I'd look forward to listening to her in the morning and in the evening. And I knew before even pressing the play button that as soon as I'd done that, pressed the play button, this was in the days of CD players, press the play button, in fact it might have even been a tape, tape recorder, I'd lie down on the bed and then even without necessarily listening to her words, because I had them memorized, really. It was as if my body knew exactly what to do. And the muscles just almost went into automatic relaxation and I remember my mind would slow down now now I was, I was listening to this recording in the early days of learning hypnosis and long before I ever made any videos or audio recordings myself because I didn't start doing that till 2006 but I knew I knew how helpful I found being able to just let go, to have that trust in the person that I'm listening to. knowing that it's going to be just as relaxing if if not more so each time you hear my voice you may feel the same some people 
have been listening to me for over a decade. Maybe not solidly, obviously not 24 hours a day, but maybe people come back. Some people maybe listen every day. And something that I do, which you may not realize by listening, is when I record these recordings, now, for example, I also am affected by the words that I say. So if I said to you, focus on your feet, notice your feet relaxing, I will be focusing on my feet. I will be noticing my feet relaxing. If I said focus on your hands and maybe notice the difference between each hand. Perhaps notice the, the air in the room, the temperature of the room on the backs of your hands. You may start to notice what almost feels like a very light breeze, even though they're may not be any type of breeze at all where you are right now. And as you become aware of your hands, I'm also aware of how relaxed my hands are feeling now. And when it comes to potentially drifting off to sleep, which may be the reason you're listening. I also feel drowsy when I make these recordings. I also notice my mind Drifting. In fact, at times, I've actually fallen asleep. Without even noticing. And then I carry on talking. It's only when I listen back to do the editing, I hear snoring and I 
think. I don't remember snoring. I remember talking. Is it snoring or is a pig turned up? That's what I sound like when I snore. And I get really into the whole experience. I don't know how you feel. How relaxed you feel in your feet. How relaxed. You feel in your hands. I have noticed more and more that the more relaxed deeper, level of comfort you feel, the easier your breathing becomes. It's almost like that additional Muscle relaxation. So this allows you to breathe easier. Without necessarily focusing on your breath. However, being able to notice the ease in which You breathe so naturally. You breathe so very easily and smoothly. Whenever I imagine my breathing improving, when I've got my eyes closed, I tend to Visualize a beautiful field with trees and flowers. Producing all that life-giving oxygen. Feel 
feels nice. To, if nothing else, just take in some time. Away from everything. Enjoying that feeling of peace, serenity, with a joyful heart. Time seems to just drip by so very slowly. So deeply peaceful. Completely unattached to any thoughts whatsoever in this moment completely free Noticing that your mind has slowed down slowed down. Because nothing really requires your attention. You can enjoy the physical sensations 
of allowing the stress to drip out of your body. Drip in out of every part of your body. Being released from your brain and your mind Slowly but surely the muscles in your legs feelings, the pleasant feelings in your arms and shoulders, deepening each part of your body further and deeper and deeper Noticing the feelings in the back of your neck, Feelings in your wrists, Muscles in the front of your body, are all 
Bewusstsein. Feeling. Peaceful. Deeply. There's a sense of peace spreads through your very core. Even when you focus on your mind, your mind becomes even slower. Relaxing. So very slow. Your stomach. Peaceful in your stomach. back, notice notice how relaxed you now feel All of your back. Your spine. From your brain all the way down the middle. 
middle of your back, sending and receiving millions of messages every day. Deeply relaxed. Spreading those signals down your spinal cord into every part of your body. Your shins and your calf muscles. Feelings of peace and tranquility spreading through your body. Tips of your toes to your eyes, your fingers. All the way to your lower back. And letting go. Really letting go. Drifting. Mind. Just wandering away. Happy to let go.
so tranquil. Join a sense of letting go. Even more. Enjoying the space, this space of peace and safety.
letting go. Maybe we can just focus on the different parts of your body, just to notice forehead and your eyes. So loose. Noticing a sense of Complete freedom. Absolute freedom. Drifting. Drifting. Peaceful. to breathe so much easier
not have noticed. Your mind drifting. Peaceful. Blissful peace. Blissful peace. Drifting. Total peace. Go. body
body feels almost invisible. And you could start to notice that you are feeling more relaxed. Even though I've not purposely focused your mind upon that sense of physical comfort that is growing within you throughout your body. And your mind starts to slow down. And that could be almost in recognition of, I guess, my speech not being particularly fast. And things just generally feel calmer just by listening to my voice you give yourself a, an opportunity to take a break from the day take a break from your life as it is and to give yourself a rest giving yourself permission to take some time off and to allow your body to relax and allow your mind to slow down which in turn releases the tension any stresses that you had in your body almost as if the parts of your body just open up allowing the negativity out and at the same time replacing that negativity with positive healing energy which then fills your body up and your mind to also starts to appreciate those feelings of increasing confidence and an almost uplifting feeling a positive healing an energy that spreads through your body like a wave 
of comfort. And all this comes from just allowing yourself a few minutes, maybe half an hour, however long you want it to be, to just rest. And allow your mind and your body to almost reset itself to the, to the settings of comfort and relaxation, calmness, which allows more room for feelings of pleasure and happiness to move around your body and into your mind almost as if your mind and your body are sinking together almost mirroring each other with that growing positivity and calmness and it feels nice it really does feel nice to know that you are the one that has allowed yourself to feel more comfort and to experience more of this deep relaxation spreading throughout your body. And as I focus on each part of your body, you can notice that that part becomes even more relaxed just by focusing on it, it becomes even more calm and comfortable just by focusing and as I move down your body starting at your head the parts that you've already focused on will continue to relax deeply and those parts that we've not yet focused on or just automatically release any remaining tension in anticipation of even more comfort about to come. Now, I'm going to start by focusing on your forehead. Just being aware of the feelings of your forehead. And any background sounds like Mr. Herbert the Pigeon can just allow you to feel even more relaxed. It just means you're in the moment. This isn't this isn't a sterile environment. This is the world. I live in the countryside. So there's lots of nature sounds around. So as you focus on your forehead. Just notice how it becomes even 
more relaxed as you focus only on my voice and that part of your body. Moving down to your eyes, focusing on your eyes, noticing how the, your eyelids feel so heavy, yet so light at the same time, and all the muscles around your eyes relaxing completely, moving your focus down to your mouth, your lips, your tongue, your teeth and your gums, and the whole of your mouth relaxing, calm and loose. As you focus now on your jaw, not just the part of your jaw near your mouth, or your chin, but all the way up the sides of your face to your ears, that whole of your jaw, feeling more. Relaxed and calm. Focus in on your neck, the front of your neck and your throat. Relax in and loose and calm, the sides of your neck, the right and left side of your neck, relaxed and loose and calm. Focus in on the back of your neck, letting go of any tension that may have been there before, and enjoying that sense of increasing comfort and release that you can experience in the back of your neck. Moving down your back, moving either side of your spine, right from the top of your back, all the way down to the bottom of your back. down to your lower back, and as you move up and down your spine, you can feel the muscles either side of your spine relaxing even more. And as those muscles relax, that sense of comfort starts to spread outwards from your spine into both sides of your back. The top of your back, the middle and your lower back. And as you scan gently 
softly and slowly up and down your back as the muscles in the top of your back relax and become looser the muscles in the middle of your back also seem to just almost divide from each other separating and almost melting and in your lower back there seems to be an extra special feeling of comfort that spreads into your hips so down your lower back and into your hips into the area where your coccyx are and into your buttocks and all those muscles that spread from your lower back into your hip area start to melt start to really let go and you know we're about to focus on your shoulders your back and your spine continue to let go, continue to relax, so calmly, and as you focus on your shoulders, you may notice that they're already Feeling really loose. They're already feeling calm. And that feeling. those muscles that move from your neck into your shoulders feel so soft and gentle so smooth calm and the feeling in your shoulders seems to spread deep into your shoulders that sense of relaxation, not just traveling deeply into your muscles, but also relaxing the bones, and moving all the way to underneath your arms. Relaxing that whole area between the tops of your shoulders and underneath your arms. Healing them. You feel so relaxed and comfortable in your shoulders. 
which sends that deep healing message into your arms. You may feel almost as if your arms are not even there because they're so relaxed, so deeply relaxed. So spreading all the way down your arms to your elbows including your elbows circumference spread all the way into your wrists, your forearms and your wrists, feeling so heavy, yet at the same time. So light and gentle, Focusing now on your hands, a sense of real peace it just seems to feel so familiar relax deeply feels so 
fingertips. Attention to the front of your body. muscles in your thighs your knees so Muscles and your shins completely
feeling in your feet. So peaceful and so calm. So peaceful. go of everything so I'm going to start counting down now from 20 down to 1 You can imagine in a way it's like just walking down some steps. And each step, all 20 steps, and each step represents a level of comfort. Each step represents a deepening of that comfort. And the further you, you walk down those steps, the deeper and more relaxed you feel. So, starting with number 20. Eighteen.
seventeen. Sixteen. Fourteen. Thirteen.
eleven. Seven.
six.
as you focus on your eyes, we're going to count down from ten down to one. Focus in just on your eyes. your eyelids, the muscles around your eyes, your eyeballs themselves, that whole area that makes up your eye. And as we count down from ten, down to one, whilst focusing on your eyes, you will become twice as relaxed with each number counting down. And you may find Just allow yourself to do that. Now, focus in on your eyes. I'm going to begin counting down from ten down to one. Right now.
So counting down from ten to one, ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four. Three, two, one. And maybe that was a bit too quick in order to relax. Maybe it's a bit too fast for you to notice the calming of your body. Maybe even a little bit of pressure there like 
With your counting down from ten to one, what do you expect me to do, man? You expect me just to go all floppy? Just because you're counting down? We could try it again. But this time, I'll go a bit slower. This time, as you focus on the whole of your body, before we focus on your legs, just notice how your body does start to feel more relaxed with every number that I count down. Ten. Nine. Eight. Seven. Six. just notice how how you feel generally how your body feels it's not necessarily even about counting down from 10 to 1 it's that space that you have that space between being active physically or mentally to just sitting or lying down just being there not doing anything not saying anything not needing to think about anything so it, op it opens up a space you know a bit of a space a gap and the more I count down from 10 to 1 the bigger that gap becomes so there's that gap of calmness of comfort, relaxation. It's a nice feeling. And it moves those stresses or discomforts physically or emotionally, moves them away. Allows you to just slow down. So I'm going to count again from 10 down to 1. And notice that gap widening. 
the gap. And as it widens, it's almost like the the stress and the tension falls into the gap. It gives you that distance, that space now. Ten, nine, eight, seven, Six, five, four. Three, two, How does your body feel now? Can you notice the that you're feeling calmer? Feeling more relaxed. As we now focus on your legs. Just your legs. And we're just going to start with focusing on your thighs. course it's not the most exciting thing to be doing because I'm, I'm sure like most of your body there's not a lot going on right now just focus in on the whole of your thighs the tops of your thighs the sides of your thighs, the bottoms of your thighs, your outer thighs and your inner thighs. Basically the whole of your thigh that leads into your hip. 
and then goes down to your knee joints. Now this is a big area. It's a very heavy area. It's very strong. Probably the strongest muscles in your body are in your thighs. But I don't think we perhaps give enough attention to our thighs. Perhaps we don't acknowledge how important our thighs are to our lives. How much they actually do for us all through our lives. And it may, it may seem to sound really weird, but I think that all of our body parts, especially our thighs, need some. TLC a bit of love shown a bit of acknowledgement a thank you gratitude for what our thighs do for us And I know this may sound a bit strange. Maybe you think, why am I? Surely I should be out in, in the garden hugging a tree or something. Well, it's hard to set a microphone up on a tree. That's why I'm doing this indoors. Otherwise, I would be outside hugging a tree. No, I can't see the television from the tree. If you move down to your knees, again, such an important part. And I think we don't necessarily, I'll well, speak for myself here, I don't necessarily appreciate all that my knees do for me until I have a problem with my knee. So occasionally, if I have a Maybe I bash it or it's aching for some reason. It's then that I realise how much it does. You know, the benefit of being able to use my legs without any kind of physical discomfort is a beautiful thing that's possibly not appreciated until it's temporarily removed you know that comfort but as you focus on your knees regardless of how your knees feel you can have that sense of gratitude and love to your knees for all that they do for you And you can still have that attention on your thighs. And maybe notice how your thighs feel. Maybe you've noticed that they are relaxing more deeply. As you focus now. On the bottoms of your legs, your shins, 
and your calf muscles, the bones between your knees and your feet, incorporating of course your ankles, so important. You know, anyone that's had even the, like the slightest sprain of an ankle knows how how much we take our ankles for granted. And it's kind of strange in a way when you think that, you know, logically our wrists are a lot thinner than the rest of our arms, which is, okay, doesn't, can't see any problem with that because we're just picking stuff up. But our ankles are so much thinner than the rest of our legs. And from a physics perspective, or logical even, it doesn't really make sense that all this weight would ultimately be resting on your ankles, then leading to your feet. That thin area, a thin bone. Yet it does so much great work. It supports us, supports our body for a lifetime. Helps us to balance. Helps you to get around and be mobile and it's the calf muscles of course when I was younger I couldn't see the point in calf muscles they didn't seem to do anything I went, okay if I walked around on tiptoes then my calf muscles get some work but of course that's not true. The calf muscles are being used whenever we use our legs. And your shins. There to protect your lower legs. Shaped in a way almost as a protector for the bone. leading of course to your ankles and your feet but we're not going to focus on your feet we're just going to focus on the legs and I realize that now that I've mentioned your feet you're probably focusing on them anyway so maybe I should focus on your feet a little bit You can have them in your awareness. The same as you have your thighs in your awareness. Even though we haven't been focusing on your thighs for a few minutes. We've been focusing on your ankles. There's still that sensation of comfort in your thighs and miss that movement of energy because the thighs hold lots of different sensations of course there's the muscles the big strong muscles that we have in our thighs But the skin on the outside of the thighs, as in the outside of all of our body, can be very sensitive. 
sensitive to the touch, sensitive to temperature. And inside your thighs, the bones, there's the muscle, there's the blood vessels, the arteries. So all this stuff, it's inside your thighs. And I guess sometimes it'd be nice if you could actually put your fingers inside your thighs and a massage. So you can massage on the outside, of course, but to be able to get deep into the muscles, and to be able to just massage inside your thighs, massaging the bones of your leg, massaging all the veins and just gently healing your thighs. And you could move down, massaging inside your knees, just massaging those bones, but with healing fingertips, spreading that healing energy deep into the joints of your knees. And of course, there's the back of your your knee, you know, the inside crease where your knee is. It's a very sensitive area. It's very, it feels very nice when you stroke it. And that might be because it's an area that's not really touched very often. It's almost like a hidden part, that crease in your legs. It's almost like a part that has a, a sensitivity which is a little bit different. Of course it's protected by your legs. So you can imagine putting your fingers into that crease in your legs. That fold in between your legs, you can just massage with your fingertips. Imagine your fingertips going inside, massaging the muscle tissue. You can, of course, feel the the bones of your knees healing through your fingertips. And then as you go down to your calf muscles, now that's a part I'd like to be able to really put my fingertips deep inside my calf muscles, massaging every single tissue of that muscle, healing every part. doing the same for my shins, massaging and gently stroking the bones, gently stroking them, healing in a loving way, because they deserve to be treated as the precious bones that they are, because our legs are so precious, as in all the other parts of our body. They're more precious than any jewel on the planet. And when you start to think about your legs in this way, it can change your perspective. It might sound a bit, a bit silly to start with, 
the idea of having love for your legs, showing appreciation for your thighs, wanting to be able to put your hands in your thighs and massage the muscles and the bones and to get your fingers deep in there releasing all tension just to show how much you care about your legs how much you care for what your legs do for you regularly your knees, your calves your ankles the strength of your ankles considering how thin they are compared to the rest of your legs especially your thighs yet they're so strong so flexible absolutely amazing things your ankles are truly a gift because of what they do for you supporting all that weight regardless of how what weight you are even if you're only eight stone it's still a lot of weight for these little ankles now I'm a lot heavier than eight stone double that yet my ankles support my body all the time although they do give off a sigh of relief when I sit down as a in fact my whole legs do my feet feet also go and my toes clap they're so happy legs really are amazing and I know <laughs> that talking about talking about your legs is probably possibly the, among the most Im, most boring things you've ever heard anyone say possibly but boring or not everything I said is true your legs are amazing. Your legs deserve not just respect. They deserve to relax deeply. They deserve to take some time out of the day to just let go completely. can relax and because the legs are so such a most you know very important part of your body when you relax your legs the rest of your body also naturally follows in that 
journey of comfort. I can feel it in my hips. My hips feel really loose. And also in my lower back as well. My lower back really feels, it feels stretched. Even though I'm just sitting in a chair and there's no stretching as far as I'm aware that I'm doing. But it's almost as if the muscles have just relaxed so much that there is a natural stretch as the tension has reduced a lot. Count down from ten down to one, and you can continue to feel wonderfully relaxed. Ten, nine, eight, seven. Six, five, four, three, two, one. Relax. I'm just going to count down from five down to one. And as I count down, if you just focus on the numbers, just the numbers, counting down, and notice how you feel in this moment as you hear the numbers counting down, knowing that those numbers counting down represent you feeling karma not just in your body but also relaxing your mind and just notice how you feel there's nothing to do there's nothing to say there's nothing to think about Starting with number five. Four. Three. One. And as you notice the gradual letting go of the tension in your body. You may also begin to notice and be aware of how your mind is starting to slow down. This is just a natural thing that happens. It's not really a special procedure. It's just natural because as your body relaxes, your mind also starts to relax and a more 
your mind relaxes, the more your body relaxes. It's just a continuous circle of relaxation. And there's that calmness that comes from relative quietness. You know, even even if there's background sounds, either your side or mine, it's still going to be quite calm. You know, you haven't got the television on, there's no music in the background unless you're listening to the recording with music, of course. You're very likely not going to be sitting in a room with other people. Of course you might be, but generally it's more ideal if you can do this on your own. So, no distractions. And when you stop thinking about stuff, relaxation automatically rises. A sense of comfort starts to grow. And without trying to build it up into something fantastical or something magical, this is just a natural process, something that's easy to accomplish. In fact, it's almost you know, the sense of relaxing completely happens really when you put no effort into it. It's not something that you can really force. It's something that happens naturally and part of the process of this recording and others is simply to allow you to take advantage of this space, this time, to just let go, to just be here, to be in tune with how you feel. Yet with the intention of wanting to relax deeply. And maybe even to fall asleep depending on what it is that you wish for yourself in this moment. As we know, relaxing is the majority of the process of falling asleep. The actual falling asleep part is the tiny bit at the end, the deeper relaxed you become, the easier you find yourself drifting. You can also, if you choose, stay focused on my voice and really enjoy the process of gradually Relaxing 
each muscle in your body. Effortlessly. And just observing the sensation of letting go. Completely. This time I'm going to count from six down to one. And you can notice your mind calming down more with each number that you hear me say. Naturally feeling calm and slow and peaceful. Six. Two. Has slowed right down, sinking deeply into relaxation. As you focus on your mind, you may notice. 
notice that there are some thoughts still there. Maybe some stubborn thoughts that for some reason perhaps need your attention. So what you can do is send love to those thoughts. Sprinkle those thoughts with love like little petals from a flower, you just sprinkle it over them. Petals filled with love towards those thoughts to let those thoughts know that you're not abandoning them. You just need them. You require them to just calm down Slow down, quiet down, for now. So as you focus on those remaining thoughts, as we count down this time from seven down to one, with each number, just imagine sprinkling those flower petals of love, kindness, gratitude over those thoughts. Which will allow them to just melt away and relax deeply. every number those thoughts will become more and more relaxed starting with number seven
attention now. Notice how relaxed you're feeling in your body. We're going to focus on your hands. Because the more relaxed your hands are, the more relaxed your body and mind are. you focus on your hands and your fingers there's nothing needed to be done there's no clenching of fists or tensing the fingers or anything like that it's just noticing and focusing on your hands. Noticing how they feel. Because the more relaxed your hands feel, the calmer your mind feels, and the more comfort you feel throughout your body. And you may Noticed that your mind is starting to drift. just on your hands and fingers, allowing them to experience a real deepening of that relaxation in your hands and fingers. number from eight down to one you can almost feel that healing and relaxing energy spreading into your hands and fingers becoming even more relaxing with each number you hear going down from eight 
drifting again. Starting with number Seven. Just being here now. Nothing to think about. Nothing to do. Nothing to say. And everything just feels calmer. This is your natural state of being. This is how you just normally feel when you take away all of that other stuff that we add. You know, things like stress and worrying and overthinking and 
anxiety, tension. Just generally thinking about stuff. When you take that away, which is what we do, what we're doing now. You're left with a real sense of peacefulness. Which comes to you very quickly. Because ultimately, it's just a feeling. A feeling of comfort. It's almost as if you've gone inside yourself and you've found a special place where everything is peaceful. Place where you can feel relaxed and your natural sense of comfort. A place where you can be you. Where you can accept yourself for who you are. A place where you're not trying to please anybody else ever a place where you can actually not just love yourself but in some ways more importantly you can like yourself appreciate who you are sense of gratitude is in the air all around you. And that's also a place where you can actually feel the healing energy soaking into your body. healing energy soaking into your body and that healing energy spreads through your veins traveling to each and every single part of your body You start to realize that actually that healing energy has not just entered into your brain, it's become part of your brain. And that spinal fluid is now mixed with healing energy. Not just allowing you to feel so much more relaxed and healthy in this moment, but also you start to realize that actually what's happening now with that healing relaxing energy spreading through your body is actually changing your life. It's actually changing the way you're going to feel, not just now, but tomorrow and the next day as your health improves. Not just your physical health, but your mental health. 
things that used to bother you in the past, for some reason, no longer have the effect that they used to. Because something has changed deep within you. Maybe things that used to cause you to feel anger no longer have that power to control you the way they seem to be able to before as you realize that you're the one who decides what affects you. You're the one who decides to feel relaxed and calm when you choose to enjoy Noticing these natural developments of healing, continuing to grow and improve your life day by day. Including, of course, your ability to relax so much easier and sleep in is the most natural thing in the world to you because falling asleep is something that you've done so many times in your life and you know that you were born as we all were with the ability to fall asleep naturally we were born with that ability to just drift off into a deep healing sleep even when we're kids sometimes we'll fall asleep when we don't even want to we try to <laughs> stay awake maybe it's a birthday in the morning or it's Christmas or holiday or something we look forward to we don't want to go to sleep. But the more we want to stay awake, the more we just start to drift. And the more you fight drifting, the more you try and stop yourself from drifting asleep, the deeper and stronger that drifting becomes. Because we're born not just with the need to relax deeply and to naturally fall asleep, but it's our birthright, it's part of our DNA. And sometimes as we get older in life, Perhaps at times we have forgotten that relaxing completely is not only a wonderfully pleasant experience, it's also really easy. It's 
very, very easy to let go. Because that's all it is, it's just deciding to let go. And when you press the play button on my recordings, you have given permission for my voice to relax you. When you press that play button, you have given me permission for my words to affect you in a positive only a positive way opening up your mind to useful and healing suggestions that can have such an amazing effect on how you feel right now as well as those changes that continue long after the recording ends those changes within you that continue to flourish and grow transforming your life in a positive beautiful way allowing you to move forward in your life in the direction that you choose for yourself and this feeling this feeling that you can experience of safety, comfort, calmness This feels so nice. It's such a healthy place to be. And that positivity grows within you. Each and every day, moving forward, you're going to find that you're more relaxed physically and in your mind is more relaxed. And it's not that you're thinking slower. It's just that your mind will be less clogged up with unnecessary negativity. Because from now on, your mind rejects negativity. From now on, you're going to start noticing when negativity arises and you can just say stop stop and that negativity 
will turn around and leave you alone. Stop. And that negativity would disappear. And as you notice that you feel way more relaxed than you probably expected. You can now congratulate yourself because you're the person that has done this. You are the one that has opened your mind up to the simple facts that you can feel more relaxed in your body and in your mind. You've opened your mind up to the birthright of being able to just fall asleep easily when you choose. And that's a nice feeling, don't you think? feels nice, doesn't it? To feel calm with all that healing energy spreading through your body and your mind. To spend time in that, that special place where negativity can no longer enter. Negativity is banned. It's barred. It's not allowed entry. Doesn't it doesn't des doesn't deserve to be here, doesn't belong here. Negativity has no place in your life. Which makes room for more comfort, more healing, more relaxation, more peace. Feels nice, doesn't it? To just let go of everything. And I'm going to count down now from twenty down to one. You can continue to relax. If you choose, you can drift to sleep. With every number, you hear me say, you can feel twice as relaxed. Or if you choose, you can feel twice as sleepy. Now, twenty. Nine, 
routine. This is your time to just take a break. Your time to relax, to allow your mind to slow down. To give yourself permission to take a break from everything. And you're the only person that can make that decision. You're the only person that can actually tell your mind. Just relax. To just take some time off. So that you can focus on your body getting in touch with how you feel physically and in the process of this body scan where you focus on different parts of your body Those parts that you focus on and observe, even though you're not purposely requesting for those parts of your body to relax, 
it's kind of expected. You expect, when you listen to my voice, to feel more relaxed, naturally. Because when you're listening to me, your attention is focused on my words. And as my words guide you to focus on those parts of your body, your focus increases. which actually calms your mind. And when your mind calms down, your body relaxes. down, your mind relaxes, and even though we've not really started to focus on your body, Pushing out stress and tension, healing all the parts of your body, including your skin, your bones, your blood, all of your organs inside your body, all of the muscles all of the fat, all of everything, every hair on your body is filled with that healing energy. And when your brain fills with that healing energy, feeling of comfort and relaxation increases deeply increases in a way that starts to feel perhaps a bit drowsy because it's not needed and it may start to drift That's what's needed. So if you're listening to this and what you need is deep relaxation, that's what you'll get. If what you need is to fall asleep naturally and easily as your mind drifts, that's also what will happen. Ok, 
speakers by pressing that play button on the podcast and listening to me. You give permission for your body and your mind. In fact, you give the command your body and your mind to relax deeply and to drift off to sleep if that's what you want or need. And as I focus on the different parts of your body, you may start to just drift, and when you come back again, and you hear me talking, and I'm focusing on a different part of your body, yourself drifting, but you don't realize you're drifting until you stop drifting and you're alert again to my voice, focusing on a different part of your body, starts to relax even deeper. Because that drifting is basically you already in the sleep zone. And the more you drift, the longer you drift, and the longer you drift, eventually that drifting continues into sleep. That's the last you remember until you wake up in your own time when you experience the right amount of sleep for you. Because when you do, and if you do fall asleep, it's so relaxing, so deep, healing sleep. And it feels so nice to relax into own body and mind, as you you feel that healing energy spreading through you, relaxing you so deeply, relaxing you so start to focus on your eyes, 
chest. Your stomach. Your back. Your spine. Let's focus again on parts of your body. Focusing this time on your forehead. Now on your mouth, your lips, your tongue, the whole of your mouth. Focus in on your fingers. Maybe you could move your fingers a little bit so you can focus on each one individually. Both hands. And even though as you focus on both of your hands now, they almost seem to just melt into one. Where does your right hand start and your left hand end? It's almost as if they just mix together. Focusing on your knees. Just noticing how your knees feel. Now focusing your elbows, focus in on both of your elbows, just observing the feeling of your elbows. in 
observing your ankles. Being aware of the physical sensations in Noticing now your toes on both of your feet. Being aware of how your toes feel. to sin how your entire body feels notice sin Letting go Letting go Letting go Of everything Letting go Letting go Letting go I'm going to start now and I'd like you just first of all just to see yourself lying down on that massage table, lying on your front, your head is supported, your arms are supported 
and you feel comfortable and the breathing is really easy and you feel you feel confident in how you look as well so there's none of that issue of body problems or shyness because I'm a professional and this is a therapy session so none of that stuff matters whatsoever this is about you this is about how you feel and how you can enjoy that sense of comfort and relaxation that comes from letting go and allowing my hands and my fingers to relax you by massaging your body. So I want to start off just by placing my hands on the back of your head, just gently, just so you can feel what my hands feel like really on you. So you can maybe feel the warmth of my hands on the back of your head. I'm going to move my hands to the side of your head. Not pressing, but just holding them there very gently. Maybe over your ears and a little bit on your face. Just so you can feel my hands. So you can become accustomed to them. And now I'll put my hands on the back of your head again and gently let them slide down onto the back of your neck. You can feel my hands gently stroking the back of your neck to start with. Just so you can get used to the the feeling of my hands on your skin. Get accustomed to it. Realise that you're safe and it's all good. It's all fine. And I'm going to start gently massaging the muscles in the back of your neck. With both hands. Now this is a very trusting situation really because our necks are so fragile and to have someone have their hands around your neck in that way can sometimes be problematic for people which is why massages are quite good because it allows you to relax and to get in touch with trust to feel peaceful and calm and there's a massage the sides of your neck gently Moving from the bottom of your neck, which would be sort of near where your shoulders start, I guess, all the way up to your jaw, your ears kind of area, that side of your neck. Of course, is a lot longer than the front of your neck. Massaging the, the back of your neck. 
especially that area where perhaps we hold tension. And as that area is massaged, you can actually feel a sense of release in the back of your neck. And maybe you can breathe it out as well. Notice how it feels. Notice how you feel. Then moving down to that area between your neck and your shoulders. That muscly area. Starting to massage that area on both sides. I mean, this would be the area that a lot of people would massage if they were going to give you like a shoulder massage. Even that's not technically the shoulders, but it's all the muscles that lead to the shoulders from the neck. And again, that can hold tension and stress. And when massaged, sometimes a nice deep massage is useful. And you decide how deep that massage is. And just allow my knuckles just to dig in to get to those muscles and to really relax them. All the time being firm yet gentle with you. And just stroking down that area to your actual shoulders. Moving to the muscles of your shoulders. And maybe initially just pulling up the shoulders a little bit off the table. Just to give you a little bit of a stretch. But very gently. And you've got the muscles at the front of your shoulders, the sides and the back. Again, this is a part that can really take quite a bit of pressure, quite a bit of uh, needing, if, if you wish, to really release the tension, to really get into those muscles and you can let your fingers in there and it can feel really nice. Sometimes just being stroked gently or being massaged quite strongly can all be beneficial to the relaxation. Of the muscles in your shoulders. Now, as we move down your arms, we do one arm at a time, starting with your right arm. What I'll do is I'll just lift your arm up, just hold it to the side of you. Don't worry, it'll still be attached. And I just massage the tops of your arms. All the way down to your forearms. 
into your wrists. Gently massaging that part, the softer part, which is the under part of the arm, which leads to the crease in your elbow, the inside. It's a much more sensitive skin. Sometimes just having that stroked can feel really nice, pleasurable and relaxing. Now moving down to your right hand. Just holding your hand in both of my hands. Just pressing gently on the back of your hand and stretching your fingers ever so lightly. At the same time, Pressing down and massaging each finger. And then starting to massage the palms of your hands. Just turning the hand gently. Stretching it gently. And actually having your hand held can really be an emotional experience sometimes, even if it is with a stranger, someone you don't know very well, like a massage person or a therapist maybe, because it's intimate. You can feel nice and you can feel safe. And as I put that right arm back down where it was, I'm going to do the same with your left arm. Exactly the same. Massaging the muscles in your arm all the way down to your wrist. Stroking the inside of your arm. Just being gentle or as firm as you require. And then massaging your left hand. Stretching the fingers gently. Massaging the palm of your left hand. so, so relaxing. So comforting. Now just rest your left arm back down. Start 
how to massage your back, the biggest part of your body. Starting at the top, starting again where you already be at been, that area at the top and in between your shoulders, near your neck, going back, massaging that area again, but this time moving downwards. Making a downward stroke the middle of your back, working from the outside inwards, so massaging the, your back, but the, the outsides of your back, the parts where your arms would maybe rest against. Almost the part that connects your front to your back. And just massaging down firmly but gently, as firm as you want. Moving down and in. Moving across a little bit and moving all the way down again. Being very gentle, yet firm as you choose. And eventually we get to the spine. We can massage the muscles on either side of your spine from the top of your neck all the way down to your lower back. We can do that a few times. Sometimes people would use the knuckle or the you know two fingers and just go either side of the spine and almost just push down go all the way down to the bottom of the spine, each time releasing tension and opening up the body, stretching your body so that you feel more relaxed but at the same time rejuvenated. Now I'm going to move to one side, to your right side, and from the bottom of your ribs to your pelvis, I'm going to massage that area of your back, I'll stretch over the other side and I'll pull the muscles gently and massage and push from one end, that side, all the way to my side. Or to the middle, in fact, to where your spine is. Massaging that side of your spine, the opposite side to where I'm standing. It's almost like kneading bread. There's that big area which is firm, yet lots there to massage potentially one of the most important places to actually have a massage because you really feel it you really feel the release and the pleasure of having your lower back massaged releases so much from your body that's not useful. Starting a healing process 
which will continue long after this recording is over. And massaging this part of your body not only feels really good for you, but it's actually fun to do. Because it is, as I said, like kneading bread. It's a part that you can really get a hold of. And really massage deeply. If that's your choice. And then I'm going to move over to the other side of your body. And do the same with the opposite part of your lower back kneading and massaging from your sides all the way to the middle of your back where your spine is pressing and kneading Firm and gentle at the same time. It feels so releasing. This mixture of pleasure, comfort, release, calmness, relaxation, all mixed together. Plus, there's that feeling from your stomach. As it's being stretched. Even though you're on your stomach now. You can feel it being stretched. Because that whole area is connected to your stomach. Now we're going to move. We'll move further up. To your top of your body. And I'm going to do the same. This time, starting with your upper back, put my hands forward over and mess it, massage in that area up to your spine, from the side of your body up to your spine. So some of that massage area, the muscle tissue, uh, or whatever, fatty tissue even, will be possibly from your chest because it's all connected the chest and the back connect together I'm going to be massaging and just pulling some of that skin from your side up and massaging that area of your upper back all the way to your spine And then I'll move down a bit and I'll continue with the middle of your back doing exactly the same thing. As gentle or as deep as you choose. Now I'll move to the other side again and do the exact same thing with the top of your back on the other side from pretty much underneath your arm area really to your spine and then continuing that all the way down Including your lower, your middle of your back. Now I'm going to go to your thighs, the backs of your thighs, and the sides of your thighs. Starting with your right leg, massaging 
the back and the sides of your thighs gently and firmly there's a lot of muscles there it's an area that can be very tense at times and maybe needs a little bit more pressure than the rest of the body that's up to you you can gently stroke the back of your legs where you know opposite your knee joint or underneath your knee joint it's a very sensitive gentle area then working down to your calf muscles massage in your calf muscles thoroughly and deeply if you choose using both hands and fingers digging deep to your ankles and the back of your back of your ankles just gently massage in that area Maybe lifting the leg and stretching it a little bit. Moving to the right foot. Massaging bottom of your feet and the sides of your feet gently but firm enough so they don't tickle and just allow pleasure do you get from having your feet massaged to just overtake you as I continue to massage your feet the bottoms of your feet the sides your arches your heel and you can put a lot of pressure into your heel feels amazing yet the arches need to be a bit more gentle stretching your toes gently and massaging the bottoms of your toes with my fingers each one individually moving over to the left leg to do exactly the same thing starting at the top of the thighs working the back of the thighs and the sides massaging deeply and gently that whole area working all the way down this is an area that maybe you could like to spend more time relaxing and massaging so perhaps if you wanted I could make a future recording where I spend more time on one particular area as you move down your calf muscles massaging your calf muscles 
firmly and gently. Moving down your ankle into your feet, massaging the backs of your feet, the bottoms of your feet. Stretching your toes and massaging each toe individually. And that feeling of pleasure and release that you experience when you're having your feet massaged feels really good. Now, as you turn over in your mind, laying on your back, I'm just going to start again at your neck area. In your shoulders. just to get back in touch with that area. And as we move up, I can clean my hands, make them more fresh, because now I'm going to massage your face gently. Starting off with your forehead. If your eyes are closed and I can just stretch your eyes a little bit, pushing up on your eyebrows. And just massaging around your scalp. Massaging down your cheeks, around your ears, into your jaw, gently. The sides of your neck, your chin. Just moving down from your neck down to your chest, starting by massaging the very top of your chest, where the collarbone is, either side of the collarbone. And just massaging the whole of the chest. Moving the chest around. Because it's quite a large area, you can move from one side to the next. Moving my hands underneath pretty much where your arms are. Stretching up. Stretching some of the muscles of your back in the process. Moving up over your chest. then moving down again. And then allowing my hand 
hands to just massage gently and slide down towards your stomach, starting in the middle of your chest. And then gradually my hands moving apart and massaging and sliding at the same time, moving down. just below your rib cage. Moving down and then massaging up again. Giving your chest all the attention that it needs to feel completely relaxed. Remembering that I'm also going to be focusing on your sides as well, an area that really doesn't get much attention, but feels really good when it's massaged. Just stroking my hands down the sides of your body. Or just below your arms, all the way down to your hips. Now, moving to your stomach area. I'm going to stand one side of you like I did when I did your lower back. I'm going to do a similar process of just stretching the muscles from your side gently massaging from one side to the next moving that whole area from below your ribs all the way down to below your belly button. I'm going to move around to the other side of you and repeat that. Process of relaxing deeply. Calmly, you feel loose, you feel free, and there's something about having your stomach massaged that's different from any other part, because we do have a tendency of holding a different kind of stress in our stomachs that we may not be aware of. and now massage your stomach the front of your stomach making circles around your belly button and then going the other way around there's a gentleness and a freedom that comes from feeling how you're feeling. As I now move down the tops of your thighs, the muscles massaging them, and I can do this two legs at the same time, pressing down, massaging deeply, those muscles in your thighs, the front of your thighs. And moving down to your knees, gently massaging your knees. Sliding down your shins, putting 
pressure on either side of your shin, gently, softly, but firmly, moving down to your ankles, stroking the tops of your feet. And then with each foot in each hand, just gently massaging the whole of the foot, the top, the bottom, your heel, your ankle, your toes, massaging every part of your feet. Feels so good just to let go and enjoy the process. Enjoy feeling so deeply relaxed. So much comfort and so many feelings that come just from touching your skin. And you can just lie there for as long as you choose, enjoying the feeling deep comfort from being massaged by me. Enjoy the feeling deep going to do is blow out some candles in your mind. There are going to be a hundred candles. And you're going to blow each one out individually, one by one, starting at a hundred as I count down. All the way down to one. And each time I say a number. You can imagine that candle in front of you. And I'd like you to actually physically <sighs> gently blow that candle out. Just <sighs> this is not a big Low, it's just a gentle, and that candle will extinguish, and then I'll say the next number as we move down, and you can just blow that one out as well. as we move down the numbers you'll find yourself feeling more and more relaxed and if you need to sleep 
you'll also find yourself becoming incredibly tired and sleepy. In fact, you may struggle to blow out all 100 of these candles. As you feel more and more deeply relaxed, more and more deeply sounds where you are, you'll be aware of those sounds at the moment, but you may start to just not even notice them. at all, because they're unimportant. Where I am, I've got the sounds of the birds, there's Horace the pigeon, who likes to say hello sometimes. And there's the odd plane that goes by, maybe traffic and trains in the distance. But none of that seems important whatsoever. you blow out, the less important anything is, the more candles you blow out, the further you seem to move away. sounds and from general day-to-day -day stuff seems to just move away on its own. As you feel say and then you blow that candle out too <sighs> so easy 
so simple. Well, we're going to start by introducing the first candle, which is a hundred. First candle, which is one hundred. When you blow that candle out, you'll find immediately a slight change. Positivity growing within you. Relaxation and sleepiness. Expanding. Starting. Six. Ninety-seven. 
twenty three.
82. Seventy eight candle seventy seven.
do. Seventy one. Candle 
fifty-seven. Candle fifty four. Two fifty two.
Forty-seven. to
handle. 37.
28. Seven.
Dumbledore. Seventeen.
let go of all of those thoughts, worries, concerns about the past, thoughts about the future and even things you've been thinking about today. Just let it all go because none of it is useful in this moment. This is your opportunity to just focus on feeling relaxed, allowing yourself to get in touch with that natural sense of peace that we all have within us. It's available for everyone. It just sometimes takes a little bit of effort to set up the right time and place in order for you to just let go. Because when you do decide to let go and relax, that's what your body starts to do. Because you've chosen, you've chosen to just allow your body to unwind and your mind starts to slow down. And it's a nice feeling. It's a nice feeling at the beginning just to know that you have chosen to decide to, to relax deeply and because you've made that decision your body will just follow suit because sometimes all the muscles in your body need is just permission from you to relax Because so often we're busy, we're going from here to there, we're walking around and we're doing stuff. And the body doesn't have any time or space to really relax deeply. So it kind of waits for you to lead the way. Waits for your permission. And when you do give your permission, when you give the say-so, when you say, okay, it's time for your body to let go completely and relax totally. Your body just follows. It's almost like a breath of relief. Oh, good, I can now relax. That feeling at the end of a day, of a very physical day that you may experience in the past, where you get home and you just sit down on a chair, maybe you kick your shoes off and, oh, oh it feels so nice. Knowing that you don't have to get up again for a little while at least and if you choose you can just sit there for maybe an hour or two and it feels blissful and just by sitting down like that your body knows that it's time to relax your body has been given permission from you because it's a mindset in your mind you're prepared 
to let go of everything and just completely allow all of the stress of your body to evaporate. Any tensions can just gradually vanish. It's almost like magic, really. Because that sense of relaxation in your body is a very natural state. It's not something unusual. It may feel unusual when you first start to relax if you, if you haven't really spent a lot of time focusing and giving yourself this space to let go completely and relax. It may seem almost alien, but it isn't. It's actually the most natural thing in the world to let go completely, to relax totally. The most natural thing in the world to allow yourself to feel really calm in your mind and it is almost like a literal unwinding it's like you press a button and all the tension just releases it's like a wheel, like a cog, like the inside of a clock just unwinding. And it's almost like you could see the, the little wind-up knob that's used just going the opposite way that you'd use to wind it up. And the energy, that frenetic, stressful energy, gradually winding down, losing its power, losing its strength, as the sense of relaxation becomes stronger and deeper, and you may find that the more relaxed you feel, that your mind starts to wander. Maybe you seem to stop listening to me for a while and your mind goes somewhere else. And then you realize you're listening to me again. And that was just your mind drifting to sleep. Which is quite natural because sometimes when we're stressed and tense, we not, may not actually be aware of what we need, what we physically or emotionally need in this moment. But when you allow your body and mind to relax completely, and you let go of all thoughts, concerns, worries, ideas, all letting them go, allowing them to drop onto the floor. You start to get in touch with the feelings of such relaxation. It feels so nice to be in touch with the calmness of the different body parts as they become looser and looser. Even your breathing seems easier and more natural effortless as that cool air and 
enters through your mouth or nose into your lungs. Breathe them in, comfort and relaxation. And then just breathe in out any excess remaining tension or stress from every part of your body and mind. And as you start to focus on your mind, maybe you notice that things are, have come to a standstill or maybe just much, much slower than before. Because your mind is not really needed when listening to my voice. Which allows your mind to relax just as deeply as your body. And that synchronicity between the relaxation of your body and relaxation of your mind lets you know that feeling completely calm, loose and relaxed really is a great healing experience for you and has So many positive benefits for your body, your mind and your life to be able to let go of everything and to relax completely in all parts of your body. Even your bones are relaxed. All your muscles are relaxed. Even the skin that covers your body is relaxed. So deeply relaxed. And your brain really starts to feel the benefit of this healing relaxation. As you focus on the inside of your scalp where your brain is, you can start to realize and notice the benefits of your brain relaxing deeply. And as your brain continues to relax, sends those messages to the rest of your body and your mind to really relax even more deeper. Concerns allow them just to drop onto the floor because they're no longer necessary in 
this moment, in this moment of deep relaxation and calmness, filling your brain with deep, concentrated healing, calming, relaxing every part of your brain. So loose and comfortable, so relaxed and peaceful, your brain feels so light and so healthy, and that sense of deep deep comfort really does allow you to enjoy those ever increasing sensations of comfort that are spreading throughout your body. Relaxing each and every muscle of your body even deeper, even deeper, much more deeper than before. and your mind feeling so peaceful and calm so very very peaceful in every part of your body letting go of everything, everything, so peaceful and calm, so relaxed, with every second you feel deeper and deeper relaxed, deeper and deeper So calm, peaceful, so very peaceful from your head.
muscle of your body so that you feel amazing, so relaxed, so peaceful, so relaxed and peaceful. do a body scan focusing on firstly how you feel in your body not trying to change how you feel not trying to relax not trying to move away from any discomfort or stress or tension just accepting observing and accepting how you feel in the different parts of your body, just allowing yourself to be exactly as you are, to notice, to get in touch with how you actually feel in this moment. So we're going to start off by focusing on your hands. Just be aware of your hands. I'd like you to move your hands around. Just maybe move your fingers a little bit. Open and closing your hands very gently just so that you can get in touch with how your hands and your fingers feel. Very, very slow movements. Focusing now on your feet and if you can just do kind of an equivalent with your feet as you've just done with your hands maybe turning your ankles moving your feet around moving your toes gently but only very Gently and very slowly, noticing how your feet feel in this moment. Focusing now on your eyes, I'd like you to just focus on your eyelids. Maybe you can open and close your eyes a couple of times to really get in touch with how you feel when you do close your eyes. The muscle changes in your eyes when you do close them. Maybe raising your eyebrows which stretches the tops of your eyes. Perhaps squint in your eyes, scrunching up your eyes, just so you can really get in touch with all aspects of how your eyes feel right now. focusing on your thighs and I'm going to just ask you to gently 
tense your thighs, just very, very gently, just enough so you can become more attuned to the physical sensation of your upper legs, the front of your thighs and the backs of your thighs, noticing and observing how your thighs feel right now. Focus to the back of your neck, just noticing the back of your neck, the muscles, and of course they lead to the side of your neck, they also lead to the top of your back, which lead to your shoulders. So as you focus on the back of your neck, maybe you can move your head gently upwards as if you were looking up, maybe moving your head down as if you were looking down, perhaps moving your head side to side, right to left. Only very slowly and very gently, not trying to force anything, it has to be very, very gentle, just so that you can be more in touch with the feelings, with the sensations, the physical sensations of how the back of your neck feels right now. As we now focus tops of your arms, the parts where your biceps and your triceps are, between your elbow and your shoulders, as you focus on those parts, the tops of your arms, you may like to just tense them, but very, very gently slowly, so you're not straining or putting any pressure whatsoever on your arms, it's just so that you can gain more of a sense of how your upper arms feeling in this moment, and just noticing as you gently, very gently and slowly tighten the muscles and then let go, notice how the tops of your arms feel right now. As we now focus on your stomach, the area, the lower abdomen area below your belly button. Moving all the way down to your hips, just 
noticed above your groin. Maybe you are able to tense these muscles in that area very, very gently and slowly. If that is a difficult thing to do, maybe you can just move your body, pushing your stomach up, maybe moving a little bit to the side, using your hips, just so that you can get more in tune with how your lower abdomen area is feeling in this moment. Just noticing the physical sensations of your lower As we move your attention to your mouth, noticing your lips and inside your mouth, your teeth, your gums, your tongue. Just noticing how your tongue and your mouth feels. And it may help by moving your tongue around your mouth, moving it to your left, maybe pressing it gently against the side of your mouth, and then to the right, gently to the side of your mouth, perhaps pressing up against the, the top of your mouth, and then down gently against the bottom of your mouth, always very slowly. gentle, so that you can be aware of how you feel. to focus on your wrists, and I'm going to ask you to maybe just rotate your wrists by moving your hands in a circular motion, very Gently and slowly, just so that you can feel the sensations that you are currently experiencing. Experiencing in your wrists, perhaps moving your hands up and down, again very, very gently and slowly. 
to observe your lower back. That back part is just above your hips, where your coccyx are. which also really does include the sides of your body because those muscles are very much connected. As those muscles also move into your hip area connecting to your buttocks, the sides of your hips If you're physically able to do so, maybe you can very gently just move your body ever so slightly, very slowly, from side to side. Just enough for you to gauge how you feel in your lower back. Perhaps you could even Gently and slowly in order to really be in touch with the physical sensations of your lower back. We now move your attention to your jaw, that area from your chin all the way up to near where your ears are. just, if it's okay to do so, gently open your mouth, not wide, no stretching, just very gently and slowly opening your mouth and closing your mouth. Gently and slowly. So you can be in touch with how your jaw feels.
chest in now, your chest area. chest because it moves every time you breathe and it moves very gently and slowly automatically with each breath you take you focus on the, how your chest feels when you breathe. in your forearms and when you do that you can feel your elbows as well of your back, your upper back, and the middle, the middle of your back, again this part of your body moves also every time you breathe. You may not notice that. Usually as you observe
focus into your hip area, your buttocks, your groin, those muscles and those bones in your midsection. Just noticing how your hips feel right now. You can very, very gently side to side very gently and slowly very very Everything starts to slow down. Including the thoughts in your mind. And your mind itself just starts to gradually... It doesn't have to be instant, but just gradually starting to, it's almost like time is stretching. It's a slower pace to maybe what you're used to in your day-to-day -day life. It's a slower movement of energy. Very small movements which make up the larger movements which is always the case. And when you move your hand, it might seem like it's one movement, but it's lots of minute different muscles moving in accordance with each other. And what happens in this space that we're sharing is we move from that big movement into those smaller movements. Starting to focus on how your body feels, but not just as a whole, not just, oh, I'm feeling this way, I'm feeling 
stressed or tense or I'm feeling relaxed and calm. I'm feeling this way, I'm feeling that way. We're starting to notice that your body begins to present to you small feelings around your body. Small physical sensations in your legs, whether pleasurable or not. Maybe resisting the temptation to label them or to judge them, those feelings. Just thinking them, thinking about them as just being neutral. Just feelings. Not being particularly concerned, but just noticing what your body is telling you. Feelings in your arms. Instead of feeling the whole of the arm, maybe notice those individual feelings, all those different muscles and the skin, the hairs of your arms, the all the internal parts of your arms, the veins. The bones. Just being aware of maybe your elbow on your right arm has a certain feeling Maybe your left wrist also has its own individual physical sensation. What about your forearm on your right arm? Your right forearm. There may not be any particular feeling that you could even give a name to. It may not feel like anything other than just a feeling. You know, it's there. The feelings in your shoulders. Perhaps your shoulders, when you think about them, are kind of almost like they're the same, you know, the same feeling. Almost like your both of your shoulders are just one thing. But of course they're not. And when you focus on your left shoulder and then on your right shoulder, maybe you find that you move the muscles a little bit, maybe tense the muscles gently. Noticing the difference in each shoulder. your lower back, the 
left side of your lower back and the right side of your lower back. course that connection to your buttocks and to your hips and also moving up into the middle of your back and sometimes like right now actually when I focus on that part, when I focused on my buttocks, and then I focused on my the middle of my back, it almost felt like the muscles in my lower back were being stretched very gently, but just stretched a little bit, even though I wasn't doing anything to try to stretch your lower back it just seemed to happen the feeling of very gently stretching your lower back comes along that feeling in your chest just noticing what sensations you are experiencing in your chest right now And there's so much of the chest. Obviously there's the collarbone leading to the chest. You've got the chest bone. You've got the muscles in your chest. And of course if you're female, there's possibly the breasts. If you're male, you've got the different, well mine aren't that different these days, but there may be more muscles at the top of the chest, but at the side, underneath, it's pretty much the same, whether you're a man or a woman, there's muscles there, muscles that stretch out to your back. As well as breast tissue which stretches and moves into your back. So just being aware of your chest. Being with whatever feeling there is in your chest and when I notice that I focus on my chest I feel it in my, my back my upper back I mean, I guess the obvious reason would be because, you know, I'm breathing in and it stretches my chest and my back at the same time. Yeah, it feels, it feels okay. doesn't feel 
a little bit of pain in my right chest a little bit not pain but a little discomfort maybe stiffness possibly I don't know I notice my shoulders are also wanting to flex for some reason I think that's probably part of my upper back that connection between my shoulders and my upper back because I can move my shoulders and stretch the muscles in my back moving the shoulders backwards or up which then moves the I think it's the scapulas in your back feels quite nice actually the good thing about this is you can if you want to you can just flex or stimulate the various muscles in your body gently in order to get more of a sense of how they feel. And when you're relaxing, when you do tense a muscle and you let it go and you let it relax, it relaxes way more than it would normally but you have to feel that you're able to do that there's no point doing it if there's a, uh, an issue with a per part of your body you need to be gentle with yourself all times when relaxing deeply it's important to be kind to yourself as you notice your mind how much as your mind slowed down since we started this recording. How calm and peaceful is your mind right now? With nothing to think about and just my voice to listen to because you know the intention behind this recording is relaxation at the very least for you to feel more relaxed at the end of the recording than you did at the beginning at the very least for your mind to slow down as your body continues to relax because that's what you want to happen that's what you expect 
to happen. For relaxation to fill your body maybe calm your mind to the point of boredom when you start maybe to Drift away drifting Almost as if you're moving further away from your body and your mind. Just leaving that there. Kind of like in a, an escape pod in a spaceship, a movie. A space movie, you know, and they get into that little pod and it sends them <laughs> far away from the spaceship. Safe to dream. Continue to relax. Drift in. Focusing on the feeling of those individual parts of your body that are relaxing one by one. may find that every now and then you realize that you weren't listening to my voice you 
like is your mind started to imagine something different maybe you started to almost move into some kind of a dreamy state and then you become aware of my voice again and even though you may want to focus on my voice you may also wish to allow your mind to just drift naturally into that space of comfort and safety as you feel through your body like a warm blanket covering you gently keeping your body at just the perfect temperature And even if you can hear background sounds, they just don't seem to matter anymore. As that sense of peace spreads through your mind like a gentle breeze yet strong enough to blow away all negativity strong enough to remove from your mind any anxiety or stress that was there before and blow away any other thoughts or feelings that just don't fit with the sense of relaxation that is filling your body your mind and as you focus on your mind you count down from ten down to one and with each number you hear become slightly more relaxed just just slightly so from 10 down to 9 just a slight movement 9 down to 8 just 
just another small change in how you feel. Eight down to seven. That feeling is that there's a gap, almost like a gap that starts to get wider. The gap between those feelings that you used to have in your mind compared to the feelings you have that are growing now. Feelings of comfort and security and confidence. And that gap becomes wider. Eight down to seven, seven down to six. And when you get to five, your mind will start to have a certain physical sensation. Almost like there's a magnet outside of your head sucking the tension and the stress and any remaining feelings that you don't want. Sucking them out through your skull. And then down to four, you can start to really experience that sense of not just emptiness, but space. A place full of fresh air. A place where you can stretch. It's almost as if as you go down to four and three, your mind is expanding with this sense of peace and tranquility growing. As it moves down to two, when you get to one, your mind just feels exactly how you want to feel. It's almost a perfect feeling. Maybe a, a sensation that you'd like to keep. place that's safe where nothing can affect you at all. And you can stay in that, that space of comfort and confidence. Confident in your own ability to create this space and this feeling of comfort within your own mind. Just by counting from 10 down to 1. And this is something that you can do yourself when you're on your own. time when you can maybe sit down, maybe just for a few minutes, close your eyes, and just count slowly from ten down to one, and re-experience these feelings in your mind. And when
when you feel that way in your mind, your body copies your mind. feeling is spread through your spine and your nervous system into every part of your body, travels through your bloodstream, healing and relaxing every particle of your existence. We can practice this a few times before the end of the recording and then you can practice on your own and each time you count from 10 down to 1, the feelings of comfort, calmness and Deep, deep relaxation becomes stronger and deeper. Filling your mind and your brain with these positive chemicals that spread throughout your body relaxing you so quickly, relaxing your whole body and mind so very, very easily, just by counting from ten down to one. going to do it now. I'm going to count from 10 down to 1 and I'd like you to repeat the number after me. So when I say 10, you can just repeat to yourself 10. Just notice, be aware of how you feel. in your mind and your body. Then when I say nine, you can repeat to yourself, nine. Again, noticing the increase in comfort and Calmness in your mind and in your body. The same when I say eight. When I say seven. Six. When I say five. Four. When I say three, two, and lastly when I say one, you can repeat that number now of course when you do this on your own without listening to me, you can say the numbers at whatever speed that you feel is necessary for you, so you can adapt, so if you feel you want to say the numbers 10 down to 1, 
faster than I do, then go ahead and do that. Or if you feel when you do it yourself that you'd like to have more, more space between the numbers, maybe take a lot longer to get from 10 all the way down to 1. That's your choice also to do. So I'm going to count from 10 down to 1. And when I get to 1, that will be the end of this recording. Unless, of course, you're listening with music, then the music will continue. Ten.
20. 19. 18. 17. 16. 15. 14. 13. 12. 11. 10. Seven, six, five, four, three, two. One. Now open your eyes. Notice in how you physically feel. Having counted down from twenty to one, allowing stress and tension to leave through your fingertips and your toes. And as you focus on your fingertips, maybe they feel a little bit tingly, which is, I suppose, quite understanding considering the tension has been exiting your body through your fingertips. So now we're going to count from 20 down to 1 again. This time, you're going to feel relief of tension and stress, any anxiety that you may have. Leaving through your stomach. Just leaving through your stomach, almost as if it's just releasing the whole of your stomach from your navel to just above your chest or below your chest rather so surrounding your belly button area that whole area you can feel the tension of your body whatever's left just releasing from that area and you may notice that your stomach will become very relaxed as I count down from 20 down to 1. Now, 20, 19, 18, 17, 16, 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 
can open your eyes again if you choose, or you can just keep them closed because it feels relaxing. Just notice how your stomach feels. And notice as you focus, just do a little scan of your body. Just notice how your body feels. Focus in on your upper body, your back, chest, stomach, legs, arms, hands, feet. Just noticing. And you know you may start to feel more of a sense of tiredness, which may be the reason you're listening to this recording, because you would like to let go completely of everything and drift off into a nice, natural, calm, relaxing sleep. So now we're going to focus on your forehead. And if you choose, you can incorporate your eyes in this focus as well. So your forehead and your eyes, just that whole area basically. Almost as if you were wearing a mask, you know, like a, I don't know, Batman mask or something. Or, I'm trying to think, <laughs> Zorro or something. You know, the kind of mask that covers your eyes, but also covers quite a lot of the forehead. And focusing on that area, because that's the area that we're now going to release tension and stress from your mind your brain and from your mind and any tension that you may have remaining in your face, in your neck, in your jaw, in your eyes, your forehead or your scalp. So basically any tension within your head area, including your mind and your brain. And that's going to be released through your forehead and your eyes. As I count down again from 20 down to 1. Now. 20. 19. 18. 17. 16, 15, 14, 13, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, In. And as you scan your face, your jaw, your eyes, your cheekbones, your ears, your forehead, your scalp, and your neck, the back of your neck and the front of your neck, the 
the sides of your neck and your throat. Noticing, being aware of the comfort, increased feeling of relaxation, not just in your head and neck and mind, also the rest of your body. Just notice how loose and calm you feel and how easily it is to just let go completely let go completely how easily so what I'm going to do now is I want you to focus on the top of your head of tension or stress that might be lingering or hiding in your body or mind or head to just be sucked out of the top of your head and released into the air almost sucked out into the clouds Imagine a big cloud above your head, almost like a whirlpool, and it's just going to suck that tension out of the top of your head, and just take it away for good. As you focus, imagine an opening in the top of your head, where that tension and stress and any remaining issues, maybe worries or concerns that are of no use to you now, can all be sucked out of the top of your head, and taken away. As I count down again, from 20 down to 1. Now. 20. Nineteen, eighteen, seventeen, sixteen, fifteen. Fourteen, thirteen, twelve, eleven, ten. Seven, six, five, 
noticing how you feel. How relaxed and calm you physically and mentally feel right now. It feels so nice to just let go, to give yourself some space to breathe easily, to think calmly, and just to take a break from all that pointless worry and concerns about things that you don't need to think about. Because this is your time to let go. This is your space to enjoy feeling deeply relaxed, peaceful in your mind, relaxed in your body. It can feel so good, so nice to just not have to do anything to be able to really enjoy that serenity that comes with letting go completely that peacefulness that comes with being in this peaceful space and you can keep this sense of calmness for as long as you choose if you choose to drift off into a deep healing natural sleep then you can do that. It's completely up to you. And you can keep this feeling of calmness physically and in your mind for as long as you choose to feel completely relaxed. And I'd like you to make up your mind that you're going to relax. And I want to explore that with you. What it feels like when you actually decide that you're going to relax. Not forcing yourself, but giving yourself that I guess it is a command really isn't it when you're telling yourself relax in a gentle but firm way that only you can really tell yourself in that way you can't really have someone else saying to you now relax relax you know um it needs to be gentle, but you can't, someone else can't really have the same, the same kind of influence or power that you have over your own physicality, over how you feel. Because when you say it to yourself, it means more. It's personal and your brain and your unconscious mind and your body listens to what you say. So, for example, 
we'll test it out. We'll do a little test, a few little tests along the way, and you can get more of an idea of the force, the positive force that you can have in creating a sense of comfort and relaxation in your body and your mind quite quickly just by you telling yourself to relax. So I'm going to start by, let's, let's focus on your hands. So focus on your hands and just tell your hands to relax. So just say relax as you focus on your hands. You could say my hands are relaxed or I want my hands to relax. But I think if you actually do it directly by focusing and imagining that your hands can hear what you're saying, you know, like they've got little ears, which is a bit weird. So talking to your hands and just say, relax. Noticing. hands start to relax. Now focus on your eyes and tell your eyes to relax. So you're just saying the same word, relax. And find the right tone for you. You know, I might say, relax but you you might say relax or relax you know you might say it differently to yourself and that's important for you to gauge what feels right for you so just tell your eyes to relax whilst focusing on your eyes your eyelids, the muscles around your eyes, your eyebrows, and just tell your eyes directly, relax, now. Now I just did that myself and sometimes you may feel that you need a bit more time for the different parts to relax, you know, because I start talking again and maybe that part hasn't relaxed fully, but what will happen is it will just continue to relax even though I'm talking. And that's happening with my eyes. Something else I noticed is when I started focusing on my eyes, they actually almost became, they got worse before they got better in a way. So sort of I felt a degree of tension growing in my eyes and then disappearing. So I think what that was really was just me becoming more aware of the tension that was already there, but I wasn't, but I wasn't focused on it before, so I wasn't really acknowledging it or um, really conscious to those feelings. is still continuing to relax as well as my hands actually my hands have got a certain kind of energy like not buzzing but I can kind of 
feel a degree of energy in my hands. Maybe that's where the tension's been released. Maybe that's causing that. The next part, I think we should focus on the back of the neck. That's a part which quite often, uh, well for me, holds tension. I don't know about for yourself. But I think it's quite a, a standard place where tension is sometimes held. So, and I'm, I'm doing exactly what you're doing as you do it as well. So I'm telling my body parts to relax as well. So if you tell your neck, the back of your neck, focus on the back of your neck and just say, relax. In your own words, in your own tone, in your own voice. You can say out loud or you can just say it to yourself internally. But you're focusing and you're saying it literally to the back of your neck. As if the back of your neck can actually hear what you're saying. So do that now. Just say relax to the back of your neck. And I'll do the same. Now what I noticed, and you may have had a similar thing, is even though I was focusing on the back of my neck, other parts started to, I don't know, show themselves to me or maybe because they want to be relaxed as well, but I started noticing the feelings in my shoulders, the tension in my shoulders, and in my upper back. Whether that was because my my back and my neck was saying, well, I'm pretty much okay. It's the other parts that need attention. But my lower my, my back and my neck is still relaxing. But I just became more aware of other parts that needed attention now this might happen and it's not it doesn't mean that it's going wrong it just means you're being notified of more places that also want to feel relaxed so I'm going to focus on my upper back so you can do the same even if you don't have any uh, feelings of tension that are obvious in your upper back. If you just focus on your back and the whole area from your shoulder blades down to the middle of your back, down your spine. And with me, it's more the shoulder blades that are more. Yeah, that's the parts that are really sort of uh, giving me the nod that it needs relaxing so I'm just going to ask that part to relax and you can do the same now relax your upper back something strange happened there and this often happens I've been doing this for what, 16 years or something and often I don't know why I'm surprised but amazed really that 
it can be a feeling. So when I was focusing on the back of my neck, my upper back was starting to feel quite stressed and in need of attention. As soon as I started talking to you about my upper back and talking about, you know, getting ready to ask the upper back to relax, my upper back already started to relax. It's almost as if it doesn't need to hear the words, it just needs the attention. just needs to be noticed. And that is something that often happens in this type of situation, is when we start to relax a couple of parts of your body, as we've done with our hands, our eyes, our eyelids, and now back of the neck, top of the back, upper back. The rest of the body seems to just take notice and decide in its own way to start relaxing other parts of your body start to just become looser. I suppose it's kind of like a bit of an avalanche, you know. The little ball starts rolling and before you know it, the whole of your body is completely relaxed and calm. And if you focus on your face, you focus on your eyes, your eyelids, your eyebrows and the muscles around your eyes. Maybe you start to notice that your forehead is more relaxed than it was. Maybe your face is more relaxed. I would say my entire face is a lot more relaxed than it was. So we're going to focus now on your shoulders. Again, just like before, just tell your shoulders. I mean, you, you can do them individually. You can do right shoulder, left shoulder. I just generally do both at the same time. And just tell your shoulders as you focus on them in your mind. Focus on how they feel. Maybe you can see them in your mind's eye. Just tell your shoulders. to relax. as nice as they relax. But I do notice, probably especially with my back, is the connection between the different parts. The back, the shoulders, the neck. being all connected and being such a, a large part of your body. 
it's almost hard to separate them from each other. And my lower back has started to relax on its own. Maybe I'm going too slow. And that could be an issue because we all go at different speeds. And the idea at the beginning of this recording was for you to be able to just say to yourself, relax. Without focusing on any particular part of your body. Because when you know that telling your hands to relax and your hands relax, you tell your eyelids and your eyes, the muscles around your eyes and your eyebrows to relax. Tell the back of your neck to relax and it relaxes. You tell your upper back. You tell your shoulders to relax. And they relax. told your hands to relax, they relaxed and they continued to relax. And you told your eyelids, the muscles around your eyes, your eyebrows to relax, they relaxed and continued. Hold the back of your neck. Focus on the back of your neck. And told it to relax. It relaxed. And continued to relax. And you told your up back to relax. It relaxed and continued to relax. As with your shoulders, you told your shoulders to relax and your Shoulders relaxed and continued to relax. And it's not just that. It's that the rest of your body 
has also been listening. And that relaxation has been spreading. So from your eyes, the relaxation spread to your forehead. Around your face, into your skin, into your jaw. to the front and sides of your neck, all the way down your chest and stomach. Your relaxed hands and shoulders meet up through your arms, relaxing. Your forearms, your upper arms, your elbows, your wrists. Letting go. Your lower back. Your hips, buttocks, groin. All just start to relax or continue. Even more comfort. Spreading through your legs. All the way down to your ankles. The tops of your feet. The sides of your feet. And the bottoms of your feet. Relaxing. Into your toes. Each toe. Calm, loose, and as your body relaxes more, your mind becomes. Slower, more peaceful, to the point where if you choose to fall asleep, easily do that. Easily drift away. Because there's nothing going on in your mind. Your brain is peaceful. body continues to relax. between your body relaxing and the word that you say to yourself relax means that you don't need to focus on just one part you can just focus on your entire body word relax and the 
Records, uh, those familiar sensations of comfort spreading throughout your body. Loosening and calming and healing every part of your body, feeling more relaxed. Just tell yourself, relax, and observe feeling completely comfortable. Starting now with number 20. Nineteen. Eighteen. Seventeen, sixteen, Fifteen, fourteen. Thirteen, Twelve,
seven.
two. has slowed down, the muscles are more relaxed, everything is calmer, as a count say the word relax after each number and every time you hear that word relax you will feel twice as calm muscles in your body will feel twice as relaxed Starting 